The construction of the new Lucas Fire Station is going to provide our firefighters with modern facilities, fantastic equipment and the best that CFA can offer in terms of delivering our services to the community. I am incredibly proud of the hard work that goes into building a fire station and I know our firefighters will be proud to work out of this station. So overall the process of building a fire station will take in the order of 20 to 24 months. For the time you take in the initial interpreting the vision or the brief to developing the design before you move into construction and delivery. Some of our biggest stations such as Lucas Fire Station that we are recently, uh, have recently completed uh, was four motor room bays and ten bedrooms. So we had some uh, trial and error about where to locate. It was on a corner site, where best to enter and exit the station and uh, allow safe egress for our vehicles under a call out procedure. So those are some of the things that we look at in the initial planning phase before we can get to a town planning application. So the basis of developing the design is around the CFA standard design guidelines. These are guidelines that have over the years been adopted and changed to reflect feedback from the stakeholder groups and more importantly they've been built up over a number of years in consultation with our industrial body UFU. Having established the design we will engage with the stakeholder groups to ensure that the layout of the rooms suits their end needs. We'll sit down and, and discuss with the staff on the station itself to make sure we have the right and final solution. Having selected a preferred builder, we will then move into the delivery stage of the project and again the Land and Building Services project management staff will be responsible for the contract administration of the project. Throughout the stage of construction we consult with and liaise with our station staff to ensure that they can monitor the progress because that's the most exciting time for them prior to them moving into the station itself from an operational point of view. At Lucas in particular we had regular visits on our monthly meetings where the station rostered staff would come along, walk through the spaces to give them an idea of the feel for the space, how they move about the station uh, before they could, um, so they could manage their own expectations when they finally took delivery of the finished product. Then we get to the commissioning handover stages there's a fair amount of consultation with the industrial body to ensure that what we have delivered meets their expectations and indeed meets the overall expectations of their staff. Next stage is the final commissioning and fit out and handover stage. Generally this takes some two months before we can get to a position where the station becomes operational. There's a lot of detail goes into the fit out of the station. There's a lot of communications issues that we need to resolve and make sure that everybody is working together. Uh, is, is the one bit of advice I give for, for future OICs who are going through the relocation process is find yourself a leading fire or a station officer who has the desire to be part of the project and get them in nice and early. So um, Paddy Shawcross, who gave me a hand with the move here, coordinated all the small things that um, don't get picked up in land building services or comms or IT or uh, the Lucas Fire Station in general, but still need to be done. So uh, things like contacting the, uh, the EMR consumables delivery, the linen company, the rubbish bins, the milk orders, uh, as well as unpacking all the new equipment that you buy. So we purchased um, you know, kitchen utensils and plates and pots and pans, well, somebody has to unpack them out of the box, put them through the dishwasher, put them into the cupboard before the staff get here. So to have somebody, um, a leading fiery or a station officer who can jump in and do that time consuming, what's well, relatively easy work, but if you try to do it yourself in the OIC space, uh, it's just impossible to stay on top of your normal business as usual activity your RDO work, uh, any other work that you do as um, part of your district responsibilities, as well as pick up the move for the stations. Ballarat is one of the fastest growing regional communities in Victoria, if not Australia. I think we're the sixth or seventh fastest growing regional community uh, in Australia, and that's some data that's come from the age recently. We're very fortunate here that we had the foresight of previous leaders in the region and the district to look to the growth that was happening on Western Ballarat brought different government agencies to the table and had a conversation around how do we deliver essential emergency services across this growing footprint. 
And in the past um, six or seven years, the, the western side of Ballarat's grown in population by around about 7,000. And the area that's been um, opened up for development is already around 60% full. So it's continuing to grow and they're already looking to the next place. But next door to us, we've got the police uh, that have built a police station here and have been operating here for around about 18 months. This fire station, which has opened here last week, uh, but has op been operating from a temporary site for almost a year now in the vicinity of, of where we are now. And also there's land set aside next door for ambulance to eventually build a, an ambulance station there. So we're lining up all the different um, emergency agencies in the one precinct. And like I said, we benefited from the, the foresight of, of leaders 10 years ago to actually go to government, identify the land and have that set aside. When we build a fire station, the hardest thing to do is actually identify a site to put the, the building on. So this is about forecasting where the demand's going to be in terms of our service delivery. And we know that in the growing population of Ballarat that increasingly we have to substitute our volunteer capacity with increases in the number of career staff. We do that in an integrated fashion and we're very deliberate about how we do that. But where we are at Lucas, there was no existing volunteer fire brigade. We sit on the corner of five different fire brigade areas and three different CFA groups. So it really was bridging across those different boundaries to identify the need. Um, we've already seen that in not quite 12 months this brigade's responded to over 350 fire calls. From the day they opened they took on the emergency medical response capability and function which has been incredibly important in our community. And as the, the suburbs start to fill in, the demand in terms of fire calls and, and need for our services in the community will only grow. The new Lucas Fire Station is going to provide our firefighters with access to modern facilities, some of the best equipment and of course it's relocated in the right place to really enhance our service delivery across a growing part of Victoria. So we are really, really proud to have built this station and we know our firefighters are going to be incredibly proud to operate out of this station. It's going to allow them to better prepare for emergencies and respond to emergencies.